My name is Obio KK. I met Floyd back in uh, 2009 uh, when I ran a Ferrari dealership. When I started my own dealership in 2012, uh, a, a friend of ours brought Floyd into my dealership and uh, Floyd said, wow, Obi, is this your place? And I said, yes. And he says, well, you know, I want to support you. So uh, 39 cars later, you know, we've done a lot of transactions. So what I decided to do in his honor and to just show my friendship towards him and support towards, uh, for the fight, I put together this rally and I named it the Mayweather Unlimited. And uh, we rallied from LA to Vegas, so I got a group of my close clients because we didn't want it too large. And uh, I served breakfast this morning at my dealership, and we hit the back roads and came to Vegas to show Floyd our support. How I acquired the Enzo for Floyd is, you know, I got a call from overseas in the Middle East that there was a U.S. spec Enzo for sale. And then I hopped on a plane and I flew to Abu Dhabi. I then transacted on the car and then I, I put it on a Boeing 777 passenger plane and I flew it out of Abu Dhabi. So Floyd came to the dealership and he kept coming and kept coming and kept looking at the car. And so he comes in one night around 2 in the morning and he says, Obi, I want to buy two Ferrari 458s. And that's what he said. And I said, okay. Then he pauses for a minute. He goes, Obi, I'm not going to buy those two 450s. I'm going to buy that Enzo, and I'm going to buy it right now. Let's go. The most challenging thing I have ever done for Floyd is when he called me at 3 o'clock in the morning, and he said, Obi, I want a Bugatti in my driveway in 12 hours. I then showered, went to my office, did some work, hopped on a plane, and I got the car in his driveway in 11 hours. And to me, you know, it makes me a better person. It makes me work harder. It makes me not limit myself. So those are the things that rub off on me, you know, from him. My relationship with Bruce started, I, I met Bruce, I would say probably in December of 2013. We, we formed this relationship where I tend to do the acquisitions and then he takes care of everything from there. And he dumps it. <laughs> so we're kind of attached at the hip in a sense with, 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 with Floyd Mayweather's uh, uh, inventory because he has so many cars. And to be candid with you, I don't know how Bruce uh, you know, maintains them. And he keeps them in all in immaculate condition from all the Ferraris to all the Rolls Royce to obviously the Bugattis. Because he's going to come back yeah. and trade them right yeah. back into them. Right. <laughs> you know, what I tell people is that when Floyd acquires a car from me, if I get it back from him, it's in better condition. He's very, very fastidious, you know, when it comes to maintaining things, from his cars, to his house, to his health. I have never met an individual like Floyd Mayweather Jr., and never have. His level of commitment is incredible. Um, he, the way he thinks, and he thinks there are no boundaries when it comes to him. There are no boundaries.